And the poem is called H2O G-A-T-E Blues. And if H2O is still water and G-A-T-E is still gate, what we're getting ready to deal on is the Watergate Blues. <laughs> again on the Armwood Opinion Channel to talk about politics, culture, and technology. And today in particular, I'm talking about the politics surrounding the Brett Kavanaugh nomination for the U.S. Supreme Court. And after what we've seen so far today, the Nation magazine magazine has titled its story, The Chaos That Brett Cobb Kavanaugh Has Unleashed. What's happened is that Donald Trump has nominated someone for the Supreme Court vacancy left by Judge Stevens and has refused to disclose a large trove of documents. Just before the hearing started, they dumped 40,000, purposefully holding on to those so that the members of the committee would not have time to read over the documents before the documents, before the hearing started. And this is typical of the obfuscation of the resistance to integrity, to honor, and, and transparency that has typified the culture of, corru of corruption that surrounds the Trump administration and always has surrounded Donald Trump. This nominee is important because it's, it's a swing position that Justice Stevens had held, and the nominee in the past has made statements saying that he felt that a sitting president could not be indicted. This is very, very important because President Trump has been implicated in criminal activity by his former lawyer, Cohen. He's admitted to criminal activity before he was president. He admitted to sexually battering women on camera. He bragged about it. Grabbing women by their private parts. That's a crime. That is a crime. Dating back to the early 70s, the Justice Department brought him, he and his father into court when, when they were running his real estate empire in New York. And brought him into court for violating regulations and laws having to do with discrimination. He was found to have discriminated against blacks and Puerto Ricans in housing. He entered into a consent decree on this in which he promised not to engage in that behavior in the future. He was dragged back into court again for violating it. This is a terrible, terrible thing. We have the whole Russian conspiracy with the election going on, and the court may have to rule on issues relating to it. We know of the 2016 meeting with Donald Trump Jr. and some Russian officials that Donald Trump lied initially and said, as well as his son lied, and said it was about adoption, and then later Trump admitted it was about getting information on Hillary Clinton, negative information. That is a finance violation, getting information or anything of value from a foreign government violates American campaign finance laws. I mean, I could go on for a long time and talk about all of the criminal activity 
that the president has been involved in during the White House, his self-dealing to his hotel industry, getting rich sorties to stay in his hotels, you know, because they want influence in his administration. The list goes on and on and on. This is the most corrupt president easily since World War II. Easily. And arguably the most corrupt person of either the 20th or president, rather, of either the 20th or 21st century. We should not allow someone like this to make an appointment to the Supreme Court, which will directly affect the outcome of a case that is, that is very foreseeable, that nine times out of 10 will come before the Supreme Court within the next year or so. There's a special investigation led by Mueller, which could lead to, and is likely to lead to, evidence of criminal activity by the president. We know Cohen, out of an investigation of the Southern District in New York, has directly implicated the president in his plea agreement in criminal behavior. So I'm going to close with that. We must resist this nomination. I'm very happy to see that there were demonstrations in the Capitol today. We must push our representatives, Democrat or Republican, to resist this nomination. We must use whatever the tactics are available to delay it past the midterms. This must be an issue in the midterms. Donald Trump is engaged in self-dealing. He's trying to protect himself. He's done it before. We know he's been verbally abusing the horrible racist Attorney General Jeff Sessions for not recusing himself in the Russian collusion conspiracy investigation. We know how Donald Trump operates. He is a gangster, an old-time New York gangster. If you've seen The Sopranos, you know that Donald Trump was not as crafty as The Sopranos, as Tony Soprano was. He's a gangster. He's called Cohen, his lawyer, a rat, which is a New York gangster term, term for someone who spills the beans on your corruption to the government. Trump must leave office, and Kavanaugh cannot be allowed to get on the Supreme Court to protect him. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. And as always, remember, resistance is not futile.